Let's start our topic. What is SAS? SAS, which stands for syntactically awesome style shit, is an extension of CSS that enables you to use things like variables, nested rules, inline imports, and more. It also helps to keep things organized and allows you to create style sheets faster. The benefit of using SAS is that SAS is compatible with all versions of CSS. Number one, store data with SAS variables. In JavaScript, variables are declared using Latin const keywords. In SAS, variables start with a dollar sign followed by the variable name. Here is a real example. Let's say we need to use the success color green in different places without repeating its name. So far, here's the final results with green text in a browser. Number two, nest CSS with SAS without nesting. Let's see what happened after nesting. This is where nesting can help you to organize your code by placing child style rules within the respective parent elements. Number three, create reusable CSS with mixins. In SAS, a mixin is a group of CSS declarations, so we can reuse them in our start sheet. As you know, newer CSS features take time before they are fully compatible with all browsers. As features are adopted to browsers, CSS rules using them may need banner prefixes. As an example, box shadow property. So, without mixing. Now, let's see what's happened with mixing. The definition starts with mixing followed by custom name. The parameters like X, Y, Blur, and C in example of up are optional. Now, anytime a box shadow rule is needed, only a single line calling the mixing replaces having to type all the banner prefixes. So, we need to call mixing with the include directive. Have a look. Let's say in the card, we need to add our box shadow with all banner prefixes. Here is our results. See? This is the benefit of using mixing. This way, we can use this mixing in different places with different value. Use if else to add logic to your styles. In SAS, if else statement is similar to JavaScript. It's very useful to SAS when search for a specific condition before applying any styles, like so. Like in our H1, we need to include this text color with danger parameter. So it will be red. Now, if you change this parameter to success, it will be green. Number 5. SAS loop. SAS has several loop options much like other programming languages. They include the for loop, each loop, and while loop. Let's use for to create a SAS loop. In SAS, for is used two ways. Start to end and start to end. Start to end excludes the end numbers as part of the count. And start to end includes the end number as a part of the count. Here is a start to end example. So after converted to plain CSS, it will look like this. Here is our 5 text with 5 different values. Now let's see what's happened with start to end. We write that if we have a text class with 1 to 5, then our font size will increase 10 pixels for each iteration. Because in start to end for loop, the last number will be excluded in case here is a 6. So we will have 5 iteration, not 6. Use each loop to map all items in a list. The each for loop make it easy to emit styles. So if you write code without map, it will look like this. Now let's see with map. So we take colors as a variables and then we take each loop with key color in colors. Both of the above code examples are converted into following CSS. Like if you have a red text, our color should be red. If you have green text, our color should be green. Here is the results. Use while loop to apply a style. So first we take a variable and set it to one. Next, we check the condition with the while directive to create different size of text. So now we have to add these classes in our HTML. So we add these classes to text 1 to text 5. Here is the results. Number 6. Use partial to split the styles into smaller chunks. So a partial is a SAS file named with the leading underscore, like partial, partial.css. The underscore lets us know that the specific file is partial and will not be generated into CSS file. SAS partial are meant to be used with the import directive. This is a great way to group similar code into a module to it organized. For example, if all your text color is saved in a separate SAS file called underscore text color.scss and you want them in the main.scss, this is how to use them in the main SAS file. So we write import and add this file name in a string or quote. Enough theory. Let's work with real world project. Create a file here like text color.scss and to make it partial, we have to add underscore before the file name. Finally, to import it to our main source file, we have to write import and file name text color. And here's the results. Number seven, extends one set of CSS styles to another element. Extend is a feature of SAS that allows classes to share 
a set of properties with one another. For example, the below block of 6's rule style dot card class, it has some properties like background color, width and height. Now, you want another card called pop-up card. It has the same properties just like the base card, but we need additional property in the pop-up card. It is possible to copy and paste from the base card to the target card, but there is a much better way to do it with the extend directive. Have a look. Dot pop-up card, extend dot card. So we extend the card class, and then we can add additional properties like border radius, background color. Here is the result. Thanks for watching.